going to show you guys how to do a jester mani. You start with a red base, just a simple classic red, and then I like to take this really nice thick gold color that I have and let me just show you how I do this. Put some of this on a piece of foil. Not too much at a time because when this starts getting tacky, you want to pour some more on, use a new batch. So we're going to take this hairbrush that I made to make our outline for the Jester Manny. And you just kind of go in that classic checkerboard look. So you want to start kind of off center at the bottom of your nail and you're going to go to the side over here. Just like that. Do the same with the other side and cross over at the bottom here. Don't worry if the lines don't fully color in because you're going to go back in when you're done with this outline and use a bigger brush to color in the insides. You can fix it then. You're going to want to do the same here. up to the top. And then again on this side. So there you have your basic outline. And then you want to take a different brush, a small tip like this one, and go ahead and color it in. Color in each one of these on the inside. Again, don't worry about getting that on your cuticle. We can clean that up later with an orange stick and some polish remover. No need to rush unless you're in some sort of nail art Olympics race or something. Who knows what people do nowadays? Just keep dabbing that gold on there until it's fully covered. You can't see any red underneath. There you go, there's some gesture right there, and I'm going to go ahead and take some of the paint off of the sides that I got on there right now, because it's a lot easier to get that paint off when it's still wet, rather than letting it dry completely, especially since this is glitter. Glitter just loves to stay in place. Whenever I do nail art, I always have a paper towel handy. I often just keep one in my lap so I can easily just Wipe it off or keep it on the table if you have enough room. You can find these at any drugstore. I mean, you can find them at a beauty supply store, but you can get them anywhere, really, at, at CVS, Walgreens, Dwayne Reed, whatever. And they come in handy so much. I mean, even when, when you're doing nail art design, say something wasn't as straight as I wanted it to be on this design, I can pick up an orange stick right away and kind of help to straighten it out or when I'm painting around the cuticle I can just kind of go like that and clean up so it's not touching it. They're very handy and they're not expensive and I use them all the time. All the time. That is besides uh, cotton balls is like one of the things that I constantly buy when I go to the grocery store. So we're just going to keep moving along here. This is another easy design to do with your non-dominant hand because the brush kind of does all the work for you. So I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my lines. Since I have this brush out, we'll just get these over with. Okay, so now we've done the outline on the rest of the nails. So now we're just going to go back in and fill in the middle of these squares. You guys ever heard the expression, a little dab will do ya? That applies to nail art. It's so much easier to go back in and add more paint, but if you put too much paint on there, it's a pain in the butt to get rid of it. You 
can go out to a craft store and buy some really fine gold powder and use that as well if you mix it with clear polish. It's also a fun way to do it. And there you have a lovely Jester Manny.